is the anthem. Here's what you came for. This is the moment. Magic was made for. Hello there. Welcome back to Fan Fatales. Take a ride with us on the Hogwarts Express. Walk down Main Street with our best super pals. And defy gravity as we talk about all things fandom. Thanksgiving! It's Emma and Gabby. We just wanted to pop on in and wish all of our U.S. friends a happy Thanksgiving. Yes. And to our international friends, happy, <laughs> happy random Thursday? N- November 24th? I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if some of y'all internationally celebrate Thanksgiving. If I know do, Canada is later or earlier in the year. I think so. But if you do, tweet at us or DM us on Instagram and tell us what are your, like, giving thank traditions. We'd love to hear about it. So we just wanted to, you know, have a quick little chitty chat. Emma and I have already been talking a little bit about Thanksgiving. And we just wanted to, like, include you guys in on this quick little conversation we were having. Yeah. So, So we were talking about the turkey shortage Yes, I don't know. I don't know. I texted my mom um, like right before we start recording this to see if we had a turkey. She hasn't responded back, so who knows? Stay tuned. We need to hear if they're getting a turkey this year. (laughs) Um, I know we're getting a turkey. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know we'll be getting a turkey this year because I personally ordered it from Whole Foods. Um, I got it for. No, I got this one. I got an heirloom turkey. It is four ninety nine a pound. Um, How so, many pounds? Like ten. Yeah. Maybe maybe twelve. It depends. You know, they're always like, "Oh, it's a yeah. ten to twelve pound bird," and I'm like, "Okay, that's fine." Yeah. My family, it's not going to be as big of it, it as normal like last year. Mm-hmm. Um, Same. I, I know for sure it's going to be. Actually, my sister won't even be in town. She'll be um, in New York with her theater group. Um, they're doing, like, a... The, like, thespian group at her high school is doing a New York trip, and they get to go backstage of, like, a Broadway show and stuff like that. Okay, I'm jealous. I know. Um, so we're going to have our foreign exchange student, Annie, who this is her first Thanksgiving. So fun. Um, we're going to have my parents, me... My dad's head of the family, grandparents, for sure. And maybe my uncle and aunts. I know my uncle and aunt Doug and Christy can't come, but maybe Cheryl and Ken can, and then their sons, Bennett and Jarrett. Mm-hmm. So fake Disney facts for all of you who see that on Twitter and Instagram. Mm-hmm. He might be sober in Thanksgiving with me. We'll see next Thursday, or next Thursday for when we're recording this. But today, when you're hearing this. Yes. So check out our Instagram for our Thanksgiving updates. We'll be, yep. we'll be posting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, I know my family is leaving. We have, a, we have a little house in Arizona that we've had for forever. And so mm-hmm. um, my folks are leaving the Sunday before Thanksgiving to head out there. Okay, that's when I'm leaving Tallahassee to go down for Thanksgiving. Yeah, and I will be leaving the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I leave, okay, because I have to work and I have to go to school that week. Yeah. So I leave that Wednesday to drive out there. It's only about a two-hour drive, so it won't be too bad. FSU, we don't close until Wednesday. Wednesday through Friday we're closed, but none of my classes are available. And I was able, with my job, to be like, hey, can I leave on Sunday? And they're like, yeah, we're not doing staff meeting on Monday, and you don't have any mm-hmm. shifts. Go home. Oh, that's nice. And the only reason I'm staying until Sunday is 
my church we're doing Operation Christmas Child, which is like oh. a um, it gives kids who wouldn't normally get them mm-hmm. presents, and I'm in charge yeah. of it because I'm outreach chair. Mm-hmm. And we're doing our huge packing day on the Sunday before Thanksgiving. Cause That's this, so fun! Yeah, this week starts the big um, National Collection Week. Um, the 14th through the 21st is Collection Week. So, Does that mean you get to, like, sit and wrap gifts all day on Sunday? So, how they do it is, it's through the Samaritan's Purse, is the organization that runs Operation Christmas Child. Mm-hmm. And they have, like, a list of objects that, you want, that they want in a shoebox-sized box. Mm-hmm. And we got their special Christmas ones through the Samaritan's Purse that are mm. so cute. They're like red and green um, with snowflakes on it. Mm-hmm. And they want like a wow item, which is like a doll or a soccer ball or whatever. A clothing item, a toiletry kind of item, craft supplies, school supplies, depending on the age of the kid. Mm-hmm. And then like another like small toy like a yo-yo or, or a jump rope or something so you get like six items in your little that's box that's cool that's really nice yeah and we decided to do that beside other than like what the like angels thing yeah you where you get like about? a family yeah where you get a family or toys for tots or anything because mm-hmm. like you're giving the kids not only a present but some stuff that they'll actually need like clothes and toiletry mm-hmm. items that's nice yeah. So, yeah, that sounds fun. I mean, so I'll leave Wednesday. I'll get there Wednesday night. I'm hoping I didn't get work, like, to let me off a little early. I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm hoping. We'll see. Um, since I don't have school that Wednesday, I'm thinking they might let me just go. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, and then I got, let's see. I'll be going be to Universal Thursday. so much. Oh, I'm jealous. The week of Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. Check out my Instagram for all that. Yeah. I know on Saturday, for when this is being released, Sean and I are going for, like, Grinchmas and Christmas stuff. That'll be fun. Yeah. I mean, shoot, our house is already decorated for Christmas. Like, we just finished yesterday. We're done. Like, we're So my family won't start getting ready for Christmas until after family leaves on thanksgiving officially i think they've already started getting down boxes and stuff but we haven't set up the tree or anything and won't until thanksgiving when my grandparents leave Mm. we usually start like pretty early in november but this year was new precedent like we started and now we're done and thanksgiving hasn't even come yet so yeah we're not gonna be here for thanksgiving so we don't feel that bad there's already gifts under the tree like we're ready (laughs) Yeah, I still need to buy people presents. Oh, me too. I'm by no means done. I'm like a quarter of the way there. I haven't bought Sean's present yet. I haven't gotten Zach's either. Don't I know what him. I'm getting him. I know he doesn't, he hasn't gotten caught up to the show, so I can say it and he won't hear for months. Um, no offense, Sean. I love you. Um, but, <laughs> He's um, going to be like, hey. <laughs> Let's just say with him and I going to Universal a bunch because I'm getting an annual pass in, like, the week of Thanksgiving. Um, He's been also talking about how he wants to get a Harry Potter wand, and I find out which one he wants. That's what he's getting for Christmas. That's nice. His birthday is December 10th, and he loves the Percy Jackson series, but hasn't read the sequel one. So I got him a box set of the sequel ones. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. I hope what's everybody your favorite out there is... meal Sorry. or like what's your favorite menu item for Thanksgiving? Sweet potato casserole. Yeah, that's a good one. My grandmother also makes like homemade fried okra. I'm in the south. Clearly. Yeah, it's like fried okra and cornbread and all sorts of stuff we have to make like three pans of cornbread because of how much my family loves cornbread okay but i love cornbread what i love cornbread yeah we make like a honey one usually and then like a normal one. Oh, okay my favorite thing is to take cornbread and then put like really salty butter on it and then honey oh, it's so good yeah yeah but like honestly i could do without turkey 
No. I stand by that. I could do without turkey. I literally fought my family this year because I was like, no, we have to have a Thanksgiving turkey. We can't not have a Thanksgiving turkey. My mom was like, what about ham? And I was like, no. I think it's because of how my grandma, so my grandmother is very traditional, like it has to be roasted. Mm -hmm. It always is very dry. dry. My dad keeps on talking about how he wants to smoke it and my grandmother isn't letting him. So I think whenever we start actually smoking the turkey, then it will be good. Why don't you just, like, inject it with a crap ton of butter? Thank you. Thank you. Or, like, like so here's what we do. We, like, put the butter. We make herb butter. Super salty yeah. herb butter. And we, like, separate the skin from the from the meat bit. And you rub it between. Yeah. And it gets... Oh, and it's so good. <laughs> and then we cover yeah. it in... And then we cover it in thick sliced pancetta. Which is basically fancy bacon. It's like yeah. fancy smoked bacon, and it's delicious. Yeah. So, I hope everybody out there has gotten their hands on a turkey. I took over the turkey hunting for my family, and I was thankfully able to get one at Whole Foods. But if you haven't, yeah. I hope you do. Otherwise, yeah. you might be having a ham for Thanksgiving. Yeah. I know one Thanksgiving, because my grandparents' anniversary is kind of close to, like, the fall so i think we just push it back to thanksgiving to celebrate mm-hmm. it my dad's parents um so we were on a cruise a royal caribbean cruise for their 50th anniversary a couple years ago and i did not have turkey on that of course you didn't you don't really care for turkey no no one in my family had turkey we all had like fish what? i had pumpkin pie though Okay, pumpkin pie is bomb. I make the most delicious pumpkin tart. I will post the recipe on our Instagram. It is my there favorite tart ever. Yes. It is from a, oh gosh, what is it? Like Good Cooking Magazine or one of those. Yeah. Kinds, Martha Stewart. One of those Something. from ages ago. We've been making it for probably 10 years. And it wow. is a chocolate pumpkin tort. So the bottom is chocolate. Like the crust is chocolate. Yeah. And you put... You put little chocolate chips on the bottom while it's still yeah. hot out of the oven from the blind bake, and you melt the chocolate on the bottom, Ooh. and then you fill it with a pumpkin custard. It's not just, like, pumpkin pie filling. It's, like, a yeah. custard. It's so good. It's got, like, mascarpone, and it's creamy, and it's delicious, and then you drizzle melted chocolate on top. Yeah. Oh, so good. Um, Trader Joe's it. had a really good pumpkin cheesecake. It's in yes. their freezer section. My family does, a, um, like, we get, like, one of those, like, cheesecake things that mm-hmm. have, like, the, like, different slices, like, two of each kind. Yes. We do that and pumpkin pie usually for Thanksgiving. Oh, I love that. Yeah. We're, we're a little like bit more traditional. Pizza. I mean, we're very, like, pretty much very Southern Thanksgiving. Yeah. We're a little bit more traditional when it comes to the pies, I mean. Like, my mom oh, and I okay. bake them from scratch every year. Like, yeah. I think this is the first year we we've haven't made baked pies apple. from scratch. We, we've done an apple before. I do that like was... me a good apple pie. So, my band, we would sell, like, nice big apples. Because, like, it's kind of hard in Florida to find apples right around this time of year. Like, right around mm-hmm. Thanksgiving. So, the band program at my high school, we would sell bags of apples and our whole marketing ploy because it would would come the, this week this upcoming week yeah was it's just in time for your thanksgiving baking mm-hmm. so like that was a huge portion of our sales for people like oh i need this kind of apple for thanksgiving mm-hmm. we just buy from you guys there you go i got to meet the guy that my high school was named after doing the apple sales fun fact that's kind of cool we, uh, because we were sectioned off to, like, different, like, each group was sectioned to do a different neighborhood in mm. the surrounding area. And it was my freshman year. And he goes, do you know who I am? And we go, no. no. And he goes, oh, hold on. And he go gets, like, a um, business card and hands it to us. And I'm the first one to see, like, the name, like, the name that is outside our school and realize who he was. I was like, oh. That's kind of cool. Because people didn't know the first name of the guy who our school was named after, but, like, for whatever reason, I did. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah. 
so we anyway. hope you got a turkey. Yes, we hope you have a turkey if you celebrate you, Thanksgiving. Yeah, if you if celebrate you Thanksgiving. We hope you just have a wonderful Thursday. And yeah. it was wonderful getting to kind of just share our thoughts with you guys. I mean, yeah. I feel like we never get to do this kind of episode where we just talk about what's going on. No, not anymore, really. No, we, we got a lot of other stuff to talk about. So yeah. it's nice to just kind of let the brain go. Yeah. So but yeah, so happy Thanksgiving. We'll be back next week for Christmas. Whoop whoop! Let's get this party started with a Christmas story, Ralphie. Um, I'll shoot your eye out. Yeah. Funness. And get this: we only have three episodes left this year. Yeah. There's only yeah. three episodes left in 2022. Yeah, and then we'll probably do, like, a holiday recap like we did last year. Probably. At the beginning of the new year. Yeah. But how crazy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Three episodes left, and then we'll be in 2023. That's insane. So. And this is our second Christmas in, like, mm-hmm. October and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Being a podcast. It's insane. Make yeah. sure it'll be two years. Yep. So. Yeah. I feel like before we leave, we can't, we have to acknowledge you guys out there who are listening yeah. and we appreciate everything and every single one of you. I know at the moment there's a very small number, but mm-hmm. y'all are dedicated and y'all listen every week and we are so thankful. And we are. There's a lot of things us. that wouldn't have happened to me in this past like year and a half of podcasting that like... I can't imagine, like, me yeah. interviewing Ridley Pearson and Sasha for the two of us yeah. earlier this year. I mean, yeah. it was, like, what, right around this time of year mm-hmm. um, when we first got onto the network? Yeah. I mean, we have hit a lot of milestones, and none of that would have been yeah. possible. Without, without you guys. Yeah. So, we're very thankful for you yeah. guys. And we hope you have a wonderful and safe holiday if you... Yes. You know, again, if you celebrate, if you celebrate it, yeah. <laughs> and if not, I hope you get some good food and enjoy seeing all of the TikToks and internet memes of Americans being too full. <laughs> yeah, and then Black Friday. Oh, and Black Friday. Oh, I'm ready oh. for Black Friday, man. Half my Christmas I'm shopping not. happens on Black Friday. No, Half, mine is Cyber Monday. More. Mine is Cyber Monday. But you can get Black Friday deals online on Cyber Monday, too. Yeah. I found that most of the Cyber Monday deals were better last year than they were for Black Friday. This is true. Also, there's a teeny tiny mall in Yuma by where we're going to be, and it is never crowded on Black Friday. So I am very looking forward to going and just getting to I walk around. I forget what book it was, but I got one of my Rick... Um, Riordan books mm-hmm. from a mall, like a Barnes and Noble in Austin when we last celebrated Thanksgiving in Austin with my mom's side of the family. And he would, we found out the day, like on Thanksgiving, that he was, that he had signed a bunch of copies of the book, whatever book had just come out. And they, like, it was a Black Friday exclusive. So I got an exclusive signed copy on Black Friday. That's that awesome. Book. My grandfather bought that for me, and then he bought himself an exclusively signed autobiography of some president. That's cool. He does that all the time. Like, he has so many, like, randomly autographed books of different presidents and politicians and all sorts of things. That's really cool. Yeah. So, I guess we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, no problem.